Greetings, everyone. I'm about to talk to Ask Yourself. This isn't a debate. This is just setting up a discussion that may lead into a debate. We have to agree on a proposition. So in a few moments, I'm about to call him. <clears throat> so stand tight. What up, uh, X Perspective? X Perspective? I don't know how to say that. How are you doing? X Prospective X. Sind Dias 777. At your service. Is there something faster I can refer to you by? Sind. Sind. Okay, cool. So, yeah, Bryn and Avi wanted me to talk to you. <clears throat> All right, um, then. And to be clear, I just wish to make sure... So... Right now, we are just seeing if we can agree on a <clears throat> proposition. Is this correct? Well, yeah, because you said you wanted to debate, but I'm not sure if we disagree or not. Dionysus mute, yeah. I'm not sure if we actually disagree or not. So I guess that what I want to do is just see... Well, what I'm offering you is you can try to find something we disagree about and we can have a debate. Um, All right, then. Assuming we find something good. Okay. So um, <clears throat> I'm assuming – so I sent you two videos earlier about what I said. I'm just asking if you watched them. If you didn't, that's fine. But if you – I'm just no. wondering – no? Okay. So my philosophical system is the preservation and expansion of possibilities. That is the subjective goal that I've decided should be <clears throat> striven for, and I have several reasons for this. But ultimately, yes, that's the goal. And once you accept that goal, you can then make objective judgments morally that <clears> – objective judgments morally. So, so far, do you disagree with anything? I don't really think that there's anything we disagree on because I acknowledge that it, it is subjective. Um, well, I just don't know what some some of what you said mean. Uh, you know, Kel Celtic, you got to mute yourself or CLT, whatever your name is. Why not? Um, yeah, mute yourself. Um, yeah, so, well, I, wait, stuff like that will, oh, okay, yeah, what the fuck, um, sorry, stuff like that throws me off, I get distracted easily, we should just do a stage, actually, I keep, forget that we have that, um, one sec. Well, take your time. Oh, you don't have it on, Avrin, okay, I guess the bot isn't on, well, never mind. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I agree or not, because I'm not totally sure what you're saying, like, when you say expand possibilities... Like, I don't think that we actually change what the possibilities are. Like, there are just such and such possibilities. I assume you're talking about, like... It's far... My definition is far more restricted. Restricted. It's not just logical possibilities. For example, I have this one example that I've used before. So, say you're in a white room, and the only thing... Only choice that you can make is whether or not to smash... Is whether or not smash to... What? is whether or not to smash a ladybug. That's the only choice you can make. The only implications that result from that is the ladybug is either alive or dead. So, I'm just asking. <clears throat> so, I'm saying that the choice that you'd make under my moral system, and this example is purely illustrative. This isn't implicative or anything. You aren't supposed to derive any rules or implications from this. I'm just illustrating to you how my system works. So, the choice under my system would be to... <clears throat> that you should take if you're following my system is to not smash the ladybug because more possibilities are preserved. It's closely related to complexity in a sense because once you smash the ladybug empirically, you can't um, <clears throat> reconstruct it as, as easily as it would be smashed. It's largely related to complexity and like that. So does that make a bit more sense? And a possibility, my definition is something that can happen of which there is empirical evidence for. So do you see how that, why you wouldn't smash the ladybug? in order to preserve more possibilities. It's much easier to... Well, right, right now, right now I, I was listening the whole time, kind of waiting for the when possibilities explained part. So Okay, so like what part do you not grasp? The end, and I'm just going to focus on that. Um, okay, so what part do you not... Then we can come back to whatever stuff you're saying about possibilities. I just want to like... 
Okay. Understand it would be helpful. It would be helpful if you just. Re okay. So what specifically do you not understand about that? Do you not understand how it wouldn't how not smashing it leads to more is preserves more possibilities? Because here's the thing: with the goal is to preserve and expand possibilities. There, it's, those are two different things. So right now I'm just talking about we you, we need to grasp what preserve means. So do. You, we well, wait, ask. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand right now what possibility means. Because Something that can happen of like, which there is empirical evidence for. So, for example... Something there can happen that there is empirical evidence for. Yes. So, for um, example, a rock flying into space with no physical forces acting on it, that's not a possibility because there's no empirical evidence that that can happen. And okay, my system... Wait, when you said... Can't, sorry. When you said something that can happen, can invokes possibility again. Right. So if you say, no, that's actually in the definition. One second, one second. If possibility, if possibility is what can happen that we have empirical evidence for, can seems to like reinvoke the concept that I'm not really clear about the meaning. It of. doesn't. It's it's largely a dictionary definition. If you look it up, that's what the definition is. And what you do is you conceive of things as happening. So it's not really invoking possibility. It's not self-referential in that way that's a conventional definition even very close to a conventional definition actually so i don't really see what you're getting at if can doesn't mean it's possible i guess i'm just not sure what can means something that can happen it's you're asking what can me what can means well it's a dictionary definition of can and we're just i'm explaining it to you as best as i can so I, I don't really see what your issue is with here. This is largely a conventional definition. So like what specifically is hard to understand about that? Like could you give an example of what you think that I'm talking about? What would you consider a possibility based off of my – the example that I gave you? Well, I don't know what your example is really saying. So I don't think I could generate an example. That's kind of like the problem. OK. Like, when you say – just one or two little things. Like when you say – it's conventional language. It's like, well, very often the task... Look up possibility in the dictionary. Once, Ask once, yourself. This once, isn't... Wait, we have, to, we have to not do the, like... Well, it, my, my point it's asking... Okay to, it's okay to cut in from time to time, okay? But like, I see what you're saying. to someone who has ADD, right? Like, when you cut in, my train of thought, it just gets fried and I get frustrated and I try to remember what I was saying. So I don't like it. So just only interrupt... All right, then. If it's like, you know, you're being, like, misrepresented or something. Um, try to try to be reserved about it. Yes. Well, the reason why um, I was interrupting it is because we c actually, on second thought, no, I don't really think that that occurred. Minus, I withdraw that concern. Please advance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, yeah. So I was just saying this is kind of a, an aside, but oftentimes the task in philosophy is to find out how exactly we make sense of some kind of common notion, right? So just saying I'm referring to the folk concept, it's like, well, I, that's not really going to do you much work in clarifying. Like someone might find the folk concept unclear, right? Now, I think there's always limits to how clear you can get about what you're talking. But it's just when you tell me that you don't understand possibility in the kind of way that I do, um, and you say it means something else to you, and then you say that means what can happen, but you also don't understand can in terms of possibility. I just don't really know what exactly you mean with that. So you could either like back up to like explaining what possibility is without just using the word can, or you could explain the word can so I can understand what you mean when you define possibility. Okay, so unless otherwise stated, I am using dictionary definitions. And... I have said earlier that the possibility that I'm talking about, if you want to precisely define it metaphysically, which is what you seem to be getting at, it is no a known, actualizable, nomological possibility. So, for example, say you're in a yard, you're in a yard, and you don't know that there's a rock under the ground. Once you know about that rock, you have expanded your possibilities because you don't know that you can do anything with it if you don't even know that it's there. So that's just one example. But even then, that isn't as precise for me to simply state that it's something that can happen of which there is empirical evidence for. The bounds are, <clears throat> if I'm using dictionary definitions, the bounds are relatively easy to grasp. So I would argue that it would be better for you to just give an example or 
of what you think a possibility would be or define or have your definition of possibility. That way I can just explain how mine is different. But when you're asking me what I mean by can, it, it seems like unnecessary obfuscation because I, I know yeah, what you're – and I know what you're – I wasn't done Let's yet. Not assume each other's intentions. I didn't. Right? I didn't assume your intent. I was just making an observation about what you could may be doing because I did have some empirical evidence for that. Because I myself am notorious for asking for definitions, and I understand. Okay, well, stand, stand top of those, ask, top ask. Of I wasn't ask. I wasn't done yet. I was just trying to explain. I was saying so. In regards to can, yes, I understand your intent. My point is, is that it'd be much easier if you would simply give your definition of possibility. And then I could explain how mine is different. Would you be willing to do that? Well, yeah, I'm just talking about logical possibility. Okay. Do you know what nomological possibility is? Yeah, it's like you're talking about the laws in some universe, like physical laws or something like this, for instance, are supposed to be like a kind of nomological law, right? So something that's nomologically possible is going to be, be congruent with all of those like kind of natural laws, I guess. Roughly, but I just think that that definition of nomological, yes, that's roughly the intent. Like but wait, something wait, going, sir, you've, you've I wasn't done yet. Measure. Ask no, yourself. No, no, I wasn't. I, no, no, I'm going to talk for a second. Cause I wasn't I done yet. That you, one second. You threw me off of what I was getting at. I wasn't done <laughs> so yet. I didn't throw you off. You spoke. No, one, ask yourself. You spoke. I was. Don't, don't please. No, ask your. Ask yourself. It's okay. You spoke. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay to interrupt no. you there, but don't. Well, ask yourself. You're, you're, you're the. You were the one who interrupted I'm me. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Okay. Ask yourself. Hello. I. You sorry. were done talking. Sorry. Hello. Hello. I'm speaking. Jesus Christ. Calm the fuck down. So ask yourself. We got off the rails because what I'm trying to understand is just what you mean by possible. And I don't even know why I would supply my meaning, right? Because right now I'm trying to understand what you're talking about. And you've said you don't like what I mean. So what I want is just to understand when you say what's possible is what can happen. Okay. Does can there, look, this is what I'm picturing. Okay. I'm picturing can refers to logical possibility. And then within that, there's some subset of things that also have this like evidence property or whatever you're talking about, and then those are the things that you want to call possible. Am I understanding that right or no? No. Your definition of can, whatever it is, it really is not helpful. My definition of can is a dictionary definition. What you re what we really need to know, both of us, and by the way, I just wanted to say that earlier, the reason why I kept interrupting is because you were done talking and I was saying something and you interrupted me. So I just want to say, I will not interrupt you if you don't interrupt me. And here's the thing, I don't, I won't interrupt you even if I think you're misrepresenting me, but I ask that you just let me finish and I'll let you finish. Is that acceptable? Yeah, um, no, no, it's not acceptable. So and you're going to interrupt me. And having, having the meta conversation about it is also not acceptable, okay? So what? I'll try, I'll try to limit or not even say anything that's not directly on topic. I think I said some aside earlier. I'll try not even to do that because I'm getting the sense that making aside is going to be like a disaster in this conversation. So let's just stay right on topic. Let's not have a meta conversation. That's not what I want to do. Okay. Okay. Well, so wait a second. I want to understand what you mean when you say possibilities are things that can happen and that have this like evidence property or whatever. And by can, you tell me you don't mean what I mean. Right, because then you're talking about a notion of possibility. I just don't understand. If you can just spell it out for me. Well, you haven't explained what you think "can" means apart from the dictionary definition of what "can" means. I, I said earlier that I, unless otherwise stated, I'm using a dictionary definition of what basic words like "can" mean. So my point is, in trying to tell you about logical, nomological possibilities, I don't see how you can neatly divorce the meta conversation from your intent because I'm trying to explain to you what I mean by possibility, and I I kind of have to delve into nomological versus logical possibilities to do that and then advance with the definition. So again, I, I don't really see how I've gone to a meta conversation in this sense. It seems from my perspective that this is unnecessary obfuscation because I said, I, I, no, no, ask yourself. I wasn't done yet. Stop. Ask yourself. I said that I won't interrupt you. I'm, going, it, I'm absolutely going to interrupt you if I can't tell that you're staying on topic. Okay? Wait, ask yourself. That's not, that's not how a debate works. Sorry, sorry. 
I'm trying to understand. Ask yourself. You That's not how sorry, a debate works. Sorry, you aren't supposed sorry, to. Sorry. Sorry. You aren't to supposed to. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Ask yourself. I'm, under, I'm sorry, not. I'm sorry. not sorry. Hello. Ask yourself. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to understand what you mean when you say can't. Now you say, well, I'm referring to the dictionary definition. And I went on a little spiel about dictionary definitions. But the point is, my point is particularly clear. And if we're not, if we're not cashing it out in the kind of standard way that it's cashed out philosophically, I don't really know how I would cash it out. So if you want to either assent to like the standard concept that you didn't like earlier or provide an alternative concept that's clear, then you can do one of those. Otherwise, don't invoke the term. Ask yourself, you are conflating the issue with can with the issue of the type of possibility we're referring to. That is the no, part that... No, ask yourself, please stop possible, interrupting me. Sorry. You, no, look. Ask yourself, you're I won't sorry, interrupt I you look, if you don't... You're making the mistake here. You're making the mistake here of thinking that I consider you like a... Work, look, I'm getting some meta here, because let me be clear. It's my server. I'll, I'll do whatever I feel in here. You're making the mistake here of assuming that I think you're some kind of conversational equal to here. So I'm going to like waste time listening to all the details. Of it. I don't. I think that you're confused. And I'm trying, when you're not tracking, to just deal with that confusion. Okay, so I'm sorry. But unless I see like way higher competence demonstrated or something like that, I will just cut you off when I think you're off topic. Okay, now, well, ask yourself. What I'm you're... trying to understand is when you use the word possible, what you mean. The reason can came up is because you defined possibility with respect to what can happen. And if can is itself not understood in terms, it's a possibility word, right? If it itself can't be understood in terms of some kind of idea of possibility that I actually understand, we just have the same problem. So that's why we're talking about can. You can either clear up what it means or you can drop the term from your explanation of what possibility means. Ask yourself, there is no reason to drop the term can. It is, use, is not self-referential to use can, which is only a problem, which is what you mean when That's you say... That's not the claim. No, That's ask yourself, will you please let me explain? I'm That's trying to explain how claim. this, your cl I'm trying to explain how what you... That's not, okay. Just I'm trying clear. to explain the how... Not, the claim is not that it's self-referential. The claim is that I'm not clear what you're talking about. Yeah, no, what ask yourself. Mean? I'm trying to what explain you how you implied mean? that. What do you mean? Look, I'm only going to put up with this for so long, okay? What do you mean when you say can? Ask yourself. When I said... Now, please, please don't interrupt me. I have a few things to say. Sorry, what I'm I, not interested what? in hearing you go on about don't interrupt me. I'm trying to just explain. Answer, just answer the question. What it's a malformed question, ask yourself. I have to accept your premises, which are faulty. And I'm trying to demonstrate how your premises are faulty. You think, you think the, wait, there's two, that was already confused. There's not any Ask premises. yourself, you won't let there's me get a word in, so how would I... Listen, there's no premises. There's not an argument, okay? There's no premises. No, if there aren't, if there you have argument. already... Now, ask yourself, I'm trying to... Exp you, so, okay, this is a fucking waste of time. How is it so a waste of time? to interact with this retard. Wait, how is this? A <laughs> I was trying to explain how what he said necessarily implied that it was self-referential. Hmm? Hey, what's up, buddy, my dude? A Y, are you serious? What was that? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not A Y. A Y's PR guy. Are Are I'm, you serious? I'm, I'm A Y's PR guy. Yeah. What was that? So, he wouldn't even let so me explain I'm, what I was trying to say. Yeah, so I'm, I'm. I'm just the PR guy for for. So we. So you have to understand, so we're like part of like the infinity debater, like debate, Uber debate bro crew, but I'm like the nicer version. So I'm just going to do a little PR stuff right now. So he's not, you know, he just, it's. AY, hey, he wouldn't place. even, so, AY, hey, may I say something? Well, listen, well, one, just, just one second. So I, I just want you to know that when you said there was a faulty premise, what was the, the issue there was. AY, hey, I'm trying to explain how it wasn't an issue. But you won't let me explain that, and you're asking me to take a premise, right? Now, so a Y. When you say the faulty premise. There wasn't a premise in the. Question. No, a Y. This is what I mean by that. Will you please let me explain? Well, when I said a Y, if you don't let me explain, the, 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 PY, the PR guy. I'm 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 the PR guy. I'm talking to you. A Y's PR guy. Will you please allow me to explain what I meant? 
Is that reasonable? Is that a reasonable request that I be able to explain what I meant before you attack my position? Because I don't think you understand. You acknowledge that there was no premise that was offered to you. Yes, perhaps my language is imprecise, but what I was talking about is that, <clears throat> will you please let me to explain now? Okay, so what I was talking about when I said that, it, uh, when I mentioned it being self-referential, is that when he said can, that's also invoking possibility. It's not. It is self-contained. In dictionary definitions, which is what I'm saying of can, a possibility, they use can when defining possibility. So my point is, is that it's pointless obfuscation. So it is, he thinks it is a problem of self-referentiality because he thinks that can itself invokes possibility. So in a sense, that is a premise. He thinks that can implies possibility when it doesn't. Well, it, 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 was, it, wasn't, it wasn't anything self-referential that was tripping him up, is the thing. You, it's not, you just didn't understand what, you're, what you mean by when you say possibility. Like, and I'm trying to explain it to him, like, but he keeps in... Like modalities, like what, a possibility, like what... When you say, because when someone says possibility, there are different modalities that you... I can, know that, AY's PR, guy, AY's PR guy. If you want to... I know that AY's okay, PR guy. The problem is, is that he said, er, AY's PR guy, if he knew about the, AY, AY's PR guy, stop interrupting me. Would you please stop interrupting me? Because I can't even explain myself. If you think that this is top-notch debating, this is ridiculous. Well, all I want to know, well, look, it's, it's, look, look, hey, listen, all, all I want to know is when you say, um, possibility. I just want to know what modality you're referring to. Well, first of all, could you define modality in this context? Yeah, so when we're talking about um, the, the, we, the, the different modalities are going to be things like logical possibility or um, it's, it's where some language is used to discuss possible situations. So yes, and I said earlier. Yeah, so it's going to quantify over a given like like um, set. So there's going to be certain there's going to be things that are logically possible, and that's going to cover things that are no more um, possible. No, that's and the thing. That is the key mistake, AYSPR. When I say that it's nomological possibility, I am restricting the definition to to so it's more restricted. That's, that's fine. I understand that. They yes. Well, ask that's yourself. Didn't understand, understand that, that, and he kept interrupting. One second before you accuse me no. of making a mistake that I wasn't. No, AY's um, PR guy. No, I'm not accusing you of making any mistake. I'm trying to tell you why you it does make sense that what PA is, ask yourself was saying. Will you please allow me to explain that? Because if you allow me to explain, we can actually make some progress. But if you don't allow me well, to explain and keep point, it... In point, in point of process, I, I just want to know if... Because I think it would be more helpful if I could just understand what you're meaning. And then we can proceed. So, AY's PR guy, may I explain something to you first? Okay. May I do that? Sure. Okay. The reason why I would not address what Ask Yourself was saying about can was one, for what I already said, and two, because he's trying to understand what I mean by possibility. I told him repeatedly, nomological possibilities, something as actualizable in no... Known, something like that. I've said that already. So, but then he just goes back to can and saying that that already invokes possibility. And then when I say that that self-referentiality isn't a problem, he says that he didn't make a self-referential claim. Yes, he didn't, but he, that's still implied by his construction. He thinks that can isn't self-contained in the definition of possibility. And when I say di dictionary definition, he says, oh, well, you, you can't really do that. But my point is, is that, yes, you can, but you just need to agree on it. My point is, is that he has no reason to... This, to ask me what can means when it has a clear definition, and I'm not coming up with a new one. And he isn't explaining how he doesn't understand so, what can means. So my so point I is that he's wasting my so time. I, I under, so I understand why you thought that he may have been talking about self-referentiality. Um, that's not what he was talking about, but I understand why. I know he didn't think he was talking about that AY's PR guy, but that is necessarily what he was referring to. Well, it's not necessarily what he was referring yes, to. Yes, it was, because he I said that can implies possibility, so he's implying that it's circular. You say it's necessarily, you can, you can derive AY's it PR guy, it, it, by definition, that's what he was doing, because he thinks that can implies possibility, so he's implying that it's circular. Self-referentiality is close... When you say necessary, do you mean, like... Do you mean logically necessary or um, 
Or do you mean some other modality like AY's, AY's PR That's guy. Right. If you're going to keep attacking individual words I use I'm colloquially, as a, well, AY's PR guy, first of all, I came here to see if we could agree on a premise. And before we even do that, ask yourself as just saying, uh, I, for, by the way, I don't even could. Why do you do that when you don't understand the words you're using? I'm just asking for clarity. AY's PR guy, these definitions for these words are not f strict. Okay, you can use it differently, and I can use it differently. So when you ask me what I'm talking about, I'm not talking about AY's PR guy. I literally said earlier that unless other AY's PR guy, I said earlier that unless stated otherwise, I'm using the dictionary definition of words. How hard is that for you to grasp? Well, how is that a problem? I that you, there is a, I, well, no, I mean, I have some understanding that you're using a dictionary definition, but I think when, uh, first of all, there's different definitions in different dictionaries, so I'd, li I'd like to know which one you're using. Um, but it, a wise PR more, guy, you are engaging in pointless obfuscation. More productive. I think it would be more productive for you to just clear up which one you're using. That's all, and then we can work from there. A wise PR guy, it doesn't matter which dictionary I'm using because the differences are very minute. It doesn't matter because do you not understand what can means? A I A R S P Y P R guy. Is it really a problem that I haven't given you a pers? It actually is. Why is it a problem? I would say because can because can is a because can itself is a term relating to possibilities. So even in that case, it would be important to clear up if you're talking about nomological possibility or logical possibility. And if you're talking about a nomological possibility, are you talking about a subset of nomological possibility? That's what I was trying to tell. Ask yourself, but he keep go. He kept going back to what can yeah, meant. A R S P A Y's. PR guy, a, a wise PR guy, a wise PR guy. Define here. We do me a favor. A wise PR guy. We do me one favor. Then I'll let you talk. Will you define? Will you give me your definition of can? A wise PR guy. Define can. Um, I don't see how that will be relevant to understanding. It is relevant because my point is, is that you can't do it any more precisely than I can in this context. Uh, the, criticism is not, the criticism is not that you're doing it without precision. The A wise PR guy, again, stop deflecting. This is ridiculous. We just want to know when we're trying to understand. A wise PR guy, you are pretending to be a fool. Will you. What? You haven't explained what is wrong with can. You haven't explained how you don't understand what I mean by can. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. AY's PR guy, you just asked me to explain. AY's PR guy, you just. If there's, multiple, look, if there's multiple ways of using a term, I think it's reasonable to ask how someone's using it. And I don't see how I use a term would be, make any difference because I'll just adopt whatever way you're using it. AY's PR guy, I can adopt my way of using can to your way if you give a definition. This goes both ways. You're applying double. Right, that's great, but I'm trying to understand your view. Your a wise PR guy, guy, you aren't trying to understand anything. You're engaging I'd in. Like you to get, I'd like you to give me how you're using the words, and then I could work within that context. I'm using a dictionary definition of can. Pick a dictionary. Okay. Look at the word can, and I'm using that. Well, the reason that's not the reason that's not going to be helpful is because there are d definitions that refer to can in terms of logical possibility, that modality, and there are dictionary definitions that refer to the word can. In terms of nomological possibility. Okay, give an example of each. A wise PR on guy. Your, on your view, presumably. A wise PR guy. Get a dictionary. Look up can right now. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so in can, I'm looking, the first thing I see is be able to. Yes. Or be where to. is, where are but any of those? Of course, the issue with that is. When you, we say be able to, are we referring to that? A wise PR guy, you can do this infinitely. Referring to that in terms of nomological possible. A wise PR guy, you can do this. Because that's the same, that's just the same problem. A wise PR. Now, now, we could easily resolve the problem by just telling me what you mean. A wise PR guy, there's no problem unless you want there to be one. I can apply well, I the same amount of rigor to your statements. Words, I, I don't understand the modality you're referring to when you're using a term. When your answer hinges on the very modality, of course. Hey, a wise PR guy, when you. So hard, I don't know why it's so hard to just not give me the answer. Hey, a wise PR guy, will you define understand for me and explain what you mean? Because I really have no idea what you're talking about. 
Okay. Um, for, <laughs> by understand, I mean uh, in this context, I just mean um, I just mean being able to process. Oh, what does be able to mean? You just asked me what be able to meant. A wise PR guy, didn't you just ask me what be able to meant? What do you mean when you talk about be able to? I just, I just and, and not just be able to, but actually, but that I'm actually doing it. You just um, restated be able to. What are you talking okay, about? Yeah, sure. In this, in this case, yeah. AY's PR like, guy. This is pointless yeah, obfuscation. Be, I, in, yeah, sure. AY's PR case, guy. Yeah, in this case, I'd be yeah. In this case, I would be talking about um, nomological possibility. Nomological possibility. See, what was the problem? Okay. Yeah. See, what's the problem with me just clearing that? See how I just cleared that up? Why is that so hard for Because you? that isn't needed, because you're adding additional complexity that isn't warranted. Because when you talk about can, you aren't necessarily well, implying... It was, it was helpful here, so why can't you do it for us? Why? It's why just, do, just, just clear it up. And, because and I don't... Have a productive conversation. Because if I say it's nomological, logical, but first of all, to be, to be able to, when we talk about words, words are meant to point to something. So when we talk about to be able to, and if I assign an additional level of rigidity when I say logical or nomological, and I say, okay, can actually means this in this super specific context, when I don't know what's in Ask Yourself said, I don't know what he's thinking about when he thinks about nomological possibilities. So I'm trying to keep the definitions as simple as possible. So you can clear that up too. You can clear that up too. You can say a wise that PR guy. A wise PR speak. guy. I can do the same. You have a more specific you know, it's very interesting. You, you have, you're criticizing me. Ask yourself for interrupting all the time. You've been interrupting me like very, very often. Fuck. Because you're engaging in sophistry, a wise PR guy, and it's clear that Ask Yourself has no intention of engaging in a in an actual discussion. You're not, you're not talking. You're, you're not talking to him now. You're talking to a wise PR guy now. Okay. Why are you talking to me? Okay. Well, because I'm trying to do some PR work. That's what I do. I'm a wise PR guy. Okay, so what is the goal of my talking to you? The goal is to have a, the goal is, well, my goal right now is I'm trying to understand your view, and I'm having the same issue understanding your view, or at least it's a similar issue that um, AY did. So I'm trying to, maybe I, I think I might be a better, um, hopefully, I might get further in clearing up the confusion. Well, so AY's PR I'm guy, first of all, you have you started interrupting me first, by the way. Let's not forget that. So that's why I'm interrupting you. It's clear that you have no conventions regarding discussions if you're just going to interrupt me because you think well, that I've done... I do. I do have conventions. AY's PR guy. Well, you obviously didn't apply them to me because you interrupted me the first well, no, time I, you I came in. I'm applying them to you. I, I think... I think um... Legitimate interruptions take a certain form. Okay, um, AY's so PR guy. So are you the one who determines whether or not interruptions are legitimate? Because what if I think my interruptions are legitimate? I can lay them out. I can lay them out for you. Yeah, I can. I can lay out like when I think interruptions are, are fair. Okay. I think interruptions. Are, yeah, I think it, so. For example, what if, if one person is misrepresenting the other person? I think it's fair for the person who's being misrepresented to interrupt and not let the other person go on. Okay. Um, I also think it's fair. If a person is answering a question in a clear way that's a non-answer, um, that's that's fair to interrupt um, because it, you know it would waste time just to let the person go on when they think they're answering a question that they're not, or if it's clear from their answer that they're not tracking. Okay, um, a wise fair. Okay, a wise PR guy. I've interrupted all of you for the same reasons, but you haven't let me explain them. So you inter let, so you then proceed to interrupt me. That is that literally how our entire conversation. With Ask Yourself went, because I was trying to explain to him why I thought I was justified to interrupt him. But no, he applies his standards because he's only thinking about himself. He even said in our pretext conversation that the only reason why he does anything is because he desires it. So my point is, is that <clears throat> these are double standards that cannot be reasonably applied equally. Right. Mainly because, okay. mainly well, because, okay. a wise PR guy, you're interrupting me again. Oh, my goodness. Can I, can I, are, are, are you just... Let me know when you're done, and, I, and I'll ask you the question, all right? I have no assurance of that because you have interrupted me repeatedly. So for all I know, you're going to interrupt me in five seconds. Do you see how this – you see why I have no incentive to respect your bounds because you haven't respected mine? So can I please say something without being interrupted because you think that I did something that I may or may not have done? Is that reasonable? Are you done or are you going to... I asked, is that reasonable? Will you answer my question? 
So what you've done today reasonable oh, based off of that. Oh, I think, no, I think, I actually, no, I, I, I think the interruptions for, on you were actually, they, I think they were reasonable, but that's, I don't think that's going to be. Um, and why don't you think. To talk about the meta. So I really just want to know what your view is. And I think that I it would think that our conversation, our time would be better served getting to know what, getting to understand what your normative uh, theory is rather than um, harping on the meta. A wise PR guy, I was trying to do that. So, so far in this conversation, you've attacked my me meanings of basic words like can, which there was no reason for you to think of it in any other way. Because when you ask me to say if it's logical or nomological, to just say that is even more meaningless than to just say can. Because nomological or logical, those have very. Sm they have very complex definitions in comparison to can. So all you're doing is assigning more and more and more complexity to to words that have very simple definitions to be able to. That doesn't require any elaboration or any other sort of modifier. Oh, because why are we going to the page? A wise people. Sorry, that wasn't meant to be an interruption. I was just like, yeah, it's just it's just better. Like it's a. You know, you're going to be talking, let's let people discuss it. And plus, no one can interrupt there, it's just you two. So, yeah, let's just move over. All right, you want to you wanna go? Yes, please go? move me there. Okay. Cool. Do I go there myself, or will you move me there? All right, so before we continue, let's make one thing clear. I will not interrupt you regardless of what you say. Will you grant me the okay, same... Will you grant no, me the I, same... I no, I'm not going... So to you're going to interrupt me. Certain interruptions are legitimate. Okay. First of all, that is a foolish standard because what if you think something's legitimate and I don't think it's legitimate? Then we end up arguing about who has the right to interrupt, which is asinine. Will you please just not interrupt me, and I won't interrupt you, regardless of what you think? Because that's not. This isn't how debates are conducted, AYSPR guy. You feign. This is sophistry. You're feigning procedure, formality. Yet you're going to interrupt me every five seconds because you think I've said something inconsistent when you only know that within your own mind, and you may be wrong. So it is foolish for you to. Just to be clear, you didn't even let me finish that. <laughs> not make it a bit of consistency. Um, the reasons that I would interrupt you that have nothing to do with inconsistency. But I, I would apply it consistently for if you for the, the reasons I espoused earlier. If you do it to me, fair enough. A wise um, PR so guy. I really just would like to know what your view is. If you could help me out with that, I will do so. Will you please not interrupt me? I will not interrupt you regardless of anything. Will you please grant the same courtesy to me? Will you please not interrupt? Here's what, I, here's what I'll grant you. I won't interrupt you with the following. Oh my, AY's PR guy. Do you see how foolish those standards are? Because I don't know what's in your are head. You, are you, I'm sorry, are you interrupting me? AY's PR guy, you haven't agreed to was not that, interrupt me. Was that, was that an interruption? AY's PR guy, you haven't agreed to not interrupt me. So why, So I have no reason to not interrupt you. So will you please not interrupt me? I won't interrupt you. Okay. From this point I, forward, I, if you agree I, to not I, interrupt I, I, me. On which I wouldn't interrupt you. I won't interrupt you if... You no, you, you shouldn't interrupt me regardless. I will tell you when I'm done talking. And I will grant the same courtesy to you. Like you're interrupting me again. Um... <laughs> answer the question, man. Like, just tell me what your view is. Like, what, what do you mean by possible? What do you mean by can? I'm trying. What modality to, are you referring to? I'm trying to tell you, but so far, you and AY have interrupted me repeatedly. You've interrupted me on average about ten well, seconds. I'm, well, I'm listening. You interrupted me right now, AY. Yeah, just, just, just tell me what you mean. <laughs> just, just tell me what you mean. When you use, I will when you effort. agree. What are you referring to? I will when you agree to not interrupt me. Regardless, I will extend the same courtesy to you. Will you please just accept uh, that and not interrupt me? Well, if by if by that agreement you mean under no conditions, then the answer to that is no. 
So you're just going to interrupt me whenever you think I'm inconsistent. No, that's not what I said. Okay, that is necessarily implied by what you said because if you think – because the, for me to be – What's the entailment? Because for you to what make a – So what contradictions – wait. No, A-Y. Contradictions? For you to make a judgment about – what? Wait, no, A-Y. You, you're you're interrupting me right now. Sorry? You're interrupting me right now, A-Y. For no, you. Well, I'm trying to explain what – A-Y. You asked me – yeah, one second, just, just a second. Because if you're saying that the only way I'd enter, that it necessarily follows from what I said... A, Y. I would only you asked me the question. I'm trying to answer it. If I'm detecting an inconsistency, and then you're saying that necessarily follows from what I said. First, I want to know what you mean, like what modality you're referring to by necessary, because on any standard um, usage in philosophy, that's not going to follow. Prospect. So do you, what, modal, what do you mean when you say modal, when you say What modality do you mean when you say necessary? AY's PR guy, in the words of AY, one question at a time. Earlier, you asked me, you said that it doesn't imply that it means that I, you think you're going to interrupt me. We think it's inconsistent because here's what you have to do. In order to identify inconsistency and then act on it by interrupting me, you have to think that I'm inconsistent. So it absolutely is implied by what you I said. Say, but I, you'll notice I didn't say anything about inconsistency. When you I said that you'll interrupt me if you think that what I'm saying is inconsistent. You've said that earlier, and you, you're I not. Oh, I didn't say that. You did say that, say that earlier. That. You know this is being recorded, right? You can go back. I didn't, I didn't say that. You did say either you or A Y said that you would. Come back. Okay, wait. Don't 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 put that on me. Either you or A Y said that you. Back. What are you, okay? Find that. No, I'm not interested. In, okay, what are your criteria for interrupting me? Okay, number one, if you are misrepresenting uh, my position or something I said. Number two, if uh, it's clear that you're not tracking when I'm asking you a given question, what I'm asking you. Uh, number three. If you're giving me an irrelevant answer, something along the lines of an irrelevant answer, it's not actually addressing the question that's being asked. Okay. Um, oh, are you done? Yeah. Is that fair? Is that, I have a is that fair or not? No, it isn't. Because here's, I have a question for number three. And I have a, this applies to all of your criteria. Do you acknowledge that you could be wrong when you think that something is irrelevant? Do you acknowledge that your thoughts on that could be mistaken? I acknowledge that. Okay. I still think it's a fair criteria. Why so do you think? There's a tra cost benefit trade off to that. And I think that, in my analysis, the benefits for that outweigh the risk. Okay. Look at this debate. We've spent the past 20 minutes arguing over interruptions. So why not? I have told you. To be fair, that's because you. you, you AY's PR guy. I have I told you that. You know about your view. Who do you think? AY's PR guy. I have told you that I will not interrupt you, no matter what you say, as long as you say when you're done. Listen, if, if, you're, if, if you're upset about, about the, the debate being about interruption, because for the, the because that your criteria when I'm happy, I was trying to make the debate go about what your view is. It seems like you're very resistant. You never said that, AY's PR guy. You're, this is sophistry. You never said that. And it's clear that you're not going to honor them regardless. And hey, here's how I know. Because for the past 30 minutes, I'll you have said... You just interrupted that. I'm trying to tell you something. You just interrupted that. For the past 30 minutes, it has been well, asked... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you're interrupting me again. At this point, no, at this point, no, at, at this point look, there's... At this point, I'm interrupting for another reason. At this point, because it doesn't seem like you're interested in giving what your view is. It seems like you're just interested in sticking to the meta. Because I tried to with Ask Yourself, and he and, he, he and you have interrupted me about 15 seconds apart from what I've said. So it's impossible for me to explain anything because you'll identify what you think is a misrepresentation. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be quiet, and I want you to answer the following question. I want you to tell me what you mean by work by possibility can and, and necessary what, what modality you're using and i'm going to be quiet i'm going to let, listen to you tell me what you mean by those terms by possibility roughly i mean <clears throat> nomological possibility and to preserve and expand them what you're doing is very roughly i'm still working on it and being as precise as i can but roughly when i say that i mean that you're trying to that you're trying to <clears throat> expand known actualizable nomological possibilities 
For canon necessary, I intend no special philosophical meaning. I only intend dictionary definitions. And so, for example, if you look up possibility in the dictionary and you see the word can used in that definition, I'm talking about can as defined in the dictionary, to be able to. I am not talking about any specialized philosophical definitions when I use necessary or can. Is there a problem with that? There's two. Well, there's, there's, there is one problem and there's one, but before we get to that, there's um, a point of clarification. When you say actualizable, can you just tell me what you mean by that? Do you mean like instantiate in the mind or what or whatnot? No, <clears throat> I'm referring to you're able to perform it roughly. Again, it's largely a dictionary definition where I've, I've said earlier that unless stated otherwise, I am using a dictionary definition of these words. Unless stated otherwise, there may be times when I do intend a more specialized meaning, but if you point it out, I will gladly concede and say, okay, that's what I meant. But otherwise, when unless... You say, when you say nomological possibility, do you just mean possible under the laws of nature, like the laws of physics, chemistry, um, that, we're, that we're living in? Is that, is that what you mean by nomological possibility? Yes, but I would clarify okay. that when I'm... T but I would clarify that when I'm talking about that, <clears throat> it needs to be understood that our understanding of the laws of nature and other things are largely empirical. So that's why I've also said that possibilities are something that can happen of which there is empirical evidence. But I digress. Please forgive me. But yes, roughly your conception, I'd say yes, that's what I'm talking about when I say nomological possibilities. So, for example, a rock flying into space with no physical forces acting on it, that's not a possibility because there's no empirical evidence for it. So, yes, that is roughly what I mean by possibility. Okay, and then when you say it has, and if I'm understanding correctly, it has to be a nomological possibility that is actualizable or was, was actualized? Like, help, help me understand. Well, you could... <clears throat> The reason why I say that is because if you're a hard determinist, you could make an argument that anything that could happen can happen. So the reason why I say known actualizable is to emphasize that it has to do with ability. In fact, the term possibility comes from the Latin root closely related to ability. So that's why I say specify actualizable because if you just know about something, so I have that because you can just know about something but not be able to do it. You can know that it's possible to go to the moon, but you won't be able to do it. So I say actualizable because I am implying some sort of ability or trying to expand a general ability as well. Okay, so it's not just a nomological simpliciter. There's a certain restriction or constraint on those things even further than just mere nomological possibilities. Is that right? Yes, it is. And I must say that that is about as precise as it will get metaphysically. And the reason why this isn't a problem is because this is highly situational. So if you go to a situation and you discuss the possibilities, you can identify what possibilities in my system aren't, which is largely sufficient for, ac for applications. But metaphysically, this is about as precise as it will get. But if you have more questions, I'll probably be able to engage with them on some level. So what objections? So when, when you say like actualizable, is that the, con is that the constraint on the, on the mere nomological possibilities? Yes, I'd say that because if that constraint isn't there, then, if you, then that would mean that if you just knew about everything, then you would have expanded them. But... Yes, that's why I added actualizable. It's to be a bit more precise. I haven't encountered any arguments that would <clears throat> demonstrate that it's that's against my intent. But if you can provide an example of something and ask if that's a possibility that isn't under the definition, then I can address that and we could perhaps make some progress on the meaning. Okay. So, and by actualizable, I take it you mean something like feasible for one to do or feasible for the average person to do or something like that? What do you mean? Or, or, yeah, I mean, in an absolute sense, for example, we could go to the moon, but now we 
have we have the technology, but it requires more effort to do that to start the pro programs back up. So if you did start them back up, you would be expanding possibilities in a sense, even though it's already nomologically possible by our current empirical understanding of the world to be able to go to the moon. So do you see what that what I mean by that? So is the constraint just some degree of difficulty it is just to obtain? Is that the, is that the further constraint? For like a, a, the average human to obtain it has a certain degree of difficulty? It's not just the average human, it's in an absolute sense. It's really for anything to happen in a sense. So yes, that's what I mean. So I say you're you're uh, pretty close, if not exactly. I'm just in the reason why I'm so tentative and say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so for so for any individ any human, then it would be. Um, so the further constraint is that it can't be a type of nomological possibility for which, for any person, um, there is a certain degree of difficult to, to it, or a certain degree of. Um, yeah, you know, some kind of difficulty that needs to be overcome at a certain threshold, then we're excluding that from the, uh, that, that's the, we're constraining that away, or we're taking that away from the set of the nomologically possible things. I'm not quite sure if I would go, I'm not quite sure if I would say that, largely because in a situation, anything that changes as a result of a decision or a choice, anything, or even in, Anything that changes, that is observed, needs to be taken into account when you're considering possibilities. Because part of my, my broader moral system is just conceptualizing existence as happenings. For example, the table in front of you is happening in a sense. Do you see what I mean? So it's really anything that changes as a result of a decision needs to be considered. But do you also need to consider the uh, the cost of calculation possibilistically for example you can't spend 500 years ordering a cup of coffee because that itself would diminish possibilities because if you die having not any, done anything other than just consider ordering the cup of coffee you haven't expanded as you haven't really preserved or expanded any possibilities well, so do you see what i'm well, saying I'm just trying to understand what the constraint is right so i understand all the things you're saying but i'm not but none of the things that you're saying um, none of those things you're saying are help, seem to help me understand what the constraint you're placing on the mere knowledge of always being. Well, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go to examples, because if you can actually see what I'm talking about, it begins to make more sense. So would you like an example? I, what I really like is a criteria. Okay. To adjudicate. You don't really need one, because when we're talking about it, actually seeing it used and explaining a, a simple situation in terms of possibilities as I intend them, you can begin to get a better understanding of it. So my point is, is that I don't really, the criteria, it, it isn't really, it's not going to be very helpful in actually trying to understand it. So well, may so we please advance to an right. your, your Your normative theory relies on maximizing certain things that are a subset of the nomologically possible and that subset has just some, um, the, the bounds of that subset are just something you're not going to tell me. No, it's not quite that, no. Because first of all, I wouldn't conceive it as a- okay, Tell me what the, what the bounds are. Because the bounds themselves change. Or, for example, when you talk about the laws of nature, our very conception of the laws of nature depends on our empirical understanding, which has changed. Science has advanced, new theories have come, so it just isn't terribly useful. What it, fine, you got fine. You can you can you can you can set variables up that change up that tell the, to put that in the structure of the bounds as well. That's my fine. point that is is change. that these all come the from. They change doesn't mean you can't tell me what the bounds are. My you point is that a, you can set up some of the bounds that are changing. So just tell me what the bounds are. You can, you can stipulate that they may change, and here are the circumstances that the bounds may change. But I'm not going to be able to really interact with what you're proposing here if I can't, um, if what is, seems to be important is a subset of anomalogically possible, and you're just not going to tell me what that subset is. So please do tell me what it is, and even if it does change over time, tell, you, can, you can articulate that as well. First of all, I've said actual liable. You haven't said what you...